bigger than baseball, with ratings for Sunday's U.S. Portugal World Cup game tipping in at just more than 24 million viewers. I think it's safe to say World Cup fever has swept the nation. ESPN reports more than 18 million tuned into its main English language broadcast, an audience bigger than single games of both the World Series and the NBA Finals. And it's expected to drop big again tomorrow when the U.S. takes on Germany. Jim, you're our soccer expert (laughs) here. At least a soccer dad. How about that? Okay, fair enough. Um, outdrawing the World Series. Big surprise there? Well, maybe not for this particular game. I mean, the fact that the U.S. can take on Portugal and Germany in the beginning stage of the World Cup and be on par with them, in fact, be in a position to beat the likes of the great Ronaldo in Portugal uh, in in this kind of a game. No, I don't think that that's a big surprise. There's a lot of, you know, patriotism that goes into all of that. Mm -hmm. Um, That having been said, it is indicative of the rise of soccer, I believe, in the United States and, and the fact that, you know, if you go uh, across the state to Sporting Kansas City, they are sold out in that stadium. It is a small stadium. It's about a capacity of 18,000. They're sold That's out. still a lot of people. They're sold out for every single game. There is little doubt to me that soccer is rising, if for no other reason than every kid, it is their first sport because every kid can chase after a ball. So it is the first sport. And for many, like my two sons, yeah. it becomes their sport. Well, and I'll tell you, I watched the very tail end of the game on Sunday and in all of my years and we won't get into how many, but it's the first soccer game I've ever watched. Mm-hmm. Um, so there's an audience that's coming to this for the first time. Do you think there's staying power? Is that going to stick around if the U.S. loses Well, I think a, there, there might be different answers to that question when it comes to viewership of okay. the rest of this World Cup as opposed to the mm-hmm. long term. I mean, ESPN bet on it, and ESPN is the premier broadcast voice of sports. There is money to be made in the growth in interest in soccer. You did have, you know, the U.S. team going up against a team that had Ronaldo, one of the top world players on it. So some people who didn't even watch soccer a lot probably heard enough or knew enough to say that might be interesting. Crying guy and tuned in. (laughs) But you know, (laughs) after. The U.S. managed to pull defeat from the jaws of victory in the last few seconds of that game. Well, let's see what happens after the match tomorrow with Germany. If the U.S. moves on, then there'll probably be some increased view- some more viewership. If they don't move on to the round of 16, probably you'll see those numbers decline quite a bit.